losses in Russian forces on the front line increase. Expert explains the reasons. In recent days, due to the intensification of hostilities, there has been a significant increase in casualties among Russian troops and equipment. This is especially noticeable in the area of Avdiivka in the Donetsk region, which the occupiers are persistently trying to capture, says a Ukrainian military and political expert of the information resistance group Alexander Kovalenko in a comment to RBC Ukraine. After the Russians began their offensive near Avdiivka, we continue to assess their losses from previous days because not everything can be counted right away. They have suffered quite significant losses, both in terms of equipment and personnel, which were not previously possible to document. Furthermore, the enemy has resumed offensive actions on the Lyman-Kupiansk line. Therefore, according to the expert, the Russians have also incurred serious losses there, including in the direction of Makiivka and beyond. Kovalenko notes that there is currently a de-escalation of hostilities along the entire front line. The Russians are also facing problems on the left bank of the Kherson region. So all of this, in conjunction with the previous days, has resulted in a culminative effect of significant losses for the enemy. The expert adds that on the left bank of the Kherson region, there are currently operations of a diversionary and reconnaissance nature. This is not a large-scale offensive with the tanks or APCs. There is a large foothold to launch a wide-scale offensive from. There are diversionary and reconnaissance groups that conduct regular raids. This started a year ago after the liberation of the right bank of the Kherson region. Kovalenko explains 